breaking news, guys. Nigerians react as the former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Taku Yusuf Brutai, backs Tinubu's opposition to foreign military base on Nigerian soil. The former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Taku Brutai, has praised President Bola Tinubu's decision not to allow foreign military base on Nigerian soil. Brutai's position comes amid recent allegations by some northern leaders that the U.S. and French government had been lobbying Nigerian government to sign new defense posts on new defense parts, paving the way for the redeployment of their expelled military forces from the Shehe. Nigeria should not allow any foreign force on its soil. I commend the federal government for this stand against the reported planned redeployment of the U.S. forces that are being withdrawn from the Niger Republic to Nigeria, Brutai stated. The former COAS, who served as Nigeria ambassador to the Republic of Benin, noted in a statement through his media aide, Abraham, that the Honorable Minister of Information and National Orientation made it very clear that Nigeria had no plan to harbor U.S. troops on our soil. In a recent letter to President Tinubu, a group of Northern leaders warned that the presence of foreign military base would worsen already stained relations between Nigeria and Niger Republic, as well as neighboring Francisco countries. They urged the president to prioritize the nation's security over short-term strategic alignment. In an interview with a national television last Tuesday, David Greeny, U.S. charge the affairs in Nigeria, refuted the report, I am not aware of any such conversation and I am not really sure whose purpose it serves to agitate on this point, Greeny said. Brutai recalled that in 2014 and 2015, the Nigerian government ascertained his sovereign autonomy and declined the deployment of a UN or AU international peacekeeping force to fight Boko Haram. The Nigerian government rejected the deployment of a UN or AU international a peacekeeping force to fight you know, just people when I just cut now and no one repeat them again because of community guidelines. The breadth of the new MNJTF with its headquarters in in the Chavida was the solution to a foreign force deployment that could have placed this foreign force as an interposition force between this terrorist territory and the Nigerian territory. The implication of this is that it could have given territorial legitimates to insurgents. Similarly, as the COAS, I had to quickly recover Gambu Nigali from insurgents in order to prevent the deployment of the Chadian force on the Nigerian soil, the MNJTF concept of operation was to have three sectors. Sector one deployed in Cameroon for North region comprising all Cameroonian troops. Sector two was to be deployed in Nengela on Nigeria territory comprising all Chadarian uh, uh, troops set on three was to remain in Baga, a northern Burundi state comprising all Nigerian troops. Okay, having denied the Chadian forces deployed on Nigerian soil, set of two was then deployed in Baga's uh, Sol solar in the lake region of Chad, the statement said. 
Okay, guys, you can see that Brutai is standing with uh, his northern brothers who have asked President Bola Metinobo not to make any mistake to, you know, redeploy those military expert in Niger Republic and Burkina Faso to Nigeria. Someone said, Brutai, not them, not them. Hmm. It is impossible that these notorious Fulani armed kidnappers in Nigeria will back Brutai's submission. The criminal Fulani away terrorists which celebrate Brutai because the non-invitation of the foreign military base in Nigeria by the President Tenubu will favor them to remain unchanged in their kidnapping businesses. Okay, he said kidnapping businesses by the foreign military forces coming to stop them. Tinubu is the president of Nigeria and not Brutai. President Tinubu, please listen very well to the dictators of your conscience in accordance with the law and not to the dictators or the dictates, okay? The dictates of your conscience in accordance with the law and not the dictates of any third party. Nigeria is in dire need of being liberated from insecurity perpetrated by the, the Fulani highway kidnappers across the country. Farmers no longer go to farm, caused by the Fulani kidnappers and someone wants the, the farmers not to return to their farms. The national food shortage in Nigeria today is as a result of the Fulani kidnappers who are terrorizing the farmers on their farms. Okay, guys, what's your take on this? What do you think is the reason why the Northerners do not really want these people, you know, to establish their base in Nigeria? I bet make we hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.